Hey, this is Chase, obviously, and this is going to be a quick video on how to upload your letters in the uh, Earn an Automatic, Automatic Second Income Online campaign. So if you have uploaded this campaign before August 17th, and a few of you have, uh, I've done some things, and I will probably continue to upgrade and improve and you know, we're kind of, we jumped off the cliff and we're building the plane on the way down. Trust me, it's going to be a good ride and no problems, but I will be uh, adding imp information and updating the letters. So how do you update your letters? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. First thing to do, you're going to create an update or whatever you want to call it, but I would recommend update. It makes sense. So create a update command. I will choose right click or I can just copy that. Now, in the traffic way back office so i'm using obviously two tabs so i can flip between i hope that's obvious um, i'm going to go into the campaign manager now you only have to create <clears throat> the update campaign once and i have a ton of campaigns most of which i do not use but here is the campaign that i just made and guess what if you're confused or not sure or whatever or if you if you're not sure go ahead and just click on the magnifying glass and you'll go into the uh, campaign and if you're not sure about something or you just want to follow me delete the campaign it's just a an update campaign you don't have to delete it but i'm just going to show you you can you're not going to hurt anything so let's click delete so if you have the campaign, you can just import the letters, which I'll show towards the end of this video. Now, let's say you're at ground zero, okay? So you're going to be starting at the home, and you need to create an update campaign. So I'm waiting for Traffic Wave to catch up. And again, I'll just flip over, and you can just flip over and just double-click and then copy that. And if you need to, you can do right-click and choose Copy. Now it has Update. Let's see if traffic wave. It hasn't gotten back to the home. Let's encourage it. There we go. A little encouragement never hurts. And I'm going to, okay, there it just started. So go to the campaign manager. These are all your letters, all your subscribers, everything. On the left side, very simple. Create new campaign. That makes sense. And I copied that into memory, so I'll just paste in update. Now this will go really quick. Verify the nickname. You just This is so simple. Just verify the nickname. Whatever you put there, update is what I recommend. Don't need to do anything other than click step two. Put in some name. It could be yours. It could be Donald Duck. It could be anything. It could be one name. It could be, you know, whatever. Okay? Put in an email address. It could be yours. It could be somebody else's. It doesn't matter. You don't need a phone number. Then type A. B, C, 1, 2, 3, something. It's required. You have to put something in there. So that's all you need. Name, email, any email. Doesn't matter. Anything. You just got to fill those out. Okay? This is an update campaign. You're not going to get subscribers from it. You need to, because it's verified or required, you got to do that. Just check whatever address and move to step four. I'm doing this quickly because it can be done quickly. Move down at the bottom to step five. Then, in this last step, check the box right there and finish. That is it. That's all you have to do. Now, let's just uh, go back to manage your campaigns. Let's say, so at the four-minute mark, uh, if you already created the campaign, here's where you start. Okay? Four-minute mark in this video, here is the update campaign. Go ahead and click once on the update campaign. Okay? You'll notice when you start the update campaign, you probably have zero letters. You may. You may have letters in there from previously updates. That's okay. Now, you're going to go up here, and the first thing, you don't even need to worry about that, but the first number, double-click. Okay, it selects it every time. Double-click. You can right-click, and, and I don't know why it does that, but right-click and choose Copy. 380815. Return to the previous tab. And retrieve on the left side. We're in the update campaign. Retrieve published campaign. You're going to retrieve my letters. You're going to check this circle right there. That makes that pink box pop up. First number, you can just right click and choose paste. 
380815. The second number is 45102. Whoops, double click, right click, choose copy is the best way. 45102. That's the number. It's a five digit code. It needs to go into this box there. 45102. If you type it in, it has to be precise, no spaces. Be precise. Okay, the last thing you do is what campaign? We are talking about the update campaign, so you're going to choose update right at the bottom there. Okay, I have a bunch. You're probably going to have a couple. Very easy. This will overwrite everything, but there's nothing in there, or even if there are letters, they're, they are, they're old, so you want to update them. Just click retrieve pre-written autoresponder letters. Click OK. It's going to update all the letters. Okay, boom, done. Today, there are 11. In a week, there could be more. I'm just don't worry about it. Okay, click here to review your changes. Now, you can go to the letters and review them. Let me tell you, you may have an error appear, but it's not an error. This is the not the destination campaign. So if you click on, let's say proofread, you're just curious, you know how it looks. Whoa, what's this, Chase? This is a big error. Are you aware of this, Chase? Yes, I'm aware of it, uh, everybody. It's not in the right campaign. I didn't have you set it up correctly. We just imported the letters. Okay, so in the last update, what did I do? I said to ensure delivery to your inbox, please add, this will be your email, the signature email, your return email, whatever you put into the campaign. To your address book that's the information i put so it's in every letter and i know that's going to be a pain i know it just the way it is so here's what you're going to do right now there are six and then there are five here so 11 letters you got to do this to you may want to decide if you want to do it whether it's a big deal or not okay here's how you do it you've got to go to edit this first letter so you can see it And there it's going to load. Remember when the update campaign to get the update letters, to get the little, any updates I do. And yes, I wish this was faster, but we'll just be patient. Okay, so I had to pause it. Now it's ready. So please note, I see the, the fact that this letter has a potential problem, but you're in the update campaign, so it's not a problem. So to get the entire content, find the source button. This is the HTML source. Click once. You'll get all of this. Go in here and choose select all to get all the code, and then right click and choose copy. This is letter one over here on the side, just so you know, you can keep track. And if you need a piece of paper on which letter you have done and which you haven't done, then get a piece of paper. You have six here and then five in the held area, okay? Now immediately switch to the campaign. Many of you have called it income. I did it differently because I didn't know what I was gonna call it, but mine is called 2015 TRW. TRWV, okay? Yours is going to most likely be income, okay? Go to your letters. Hopefully you have that little piece of paper. It's kind of important. Put letter one with letter one. You're going to edit, okay? So um, you're going to edit. And I'll explain why you have to do this, actually. That's a good point. Now, look, is there any error? No, there's not an error. Okay, so just go again to source. This is the HTML source code. It'll change from what you can read to very interesting HTML. So there's HTML in the source. Okay, you can right click in here, select all, not copy, not copy, delete. And then right click and choose paste. And if you want to see it, how it looks good, boom. And you'll see right at the top, to ensure delivery to your inbox, please add SIGMAIL to your address book. And that's to the recipient, okay? And then go ahead and choose Save This Letter. And it'll save. Repeat that for all the letters. <clears throat> I've already done it, okay? I know it takes time. When you proofread it, it's going to have to ensure delivery to your inbox right above the blue line. 
Please add SIGMAIL. And you're like, well, what's SIGMAIL? Well, check the box, sample data for tokens. For me, I use my Chase at FCSwift.com. Okay, it's not a free email address, so it gets a tiny bit, but important, more deliverability. It's, it's worth doing. That's the change I made today. So I will keep up to date uh, as best as possible. When I make a change, I will put the date and what the change is. So you can decide, oh, is that really important to do? Or maybe I'll wait for the next change or something like that. Okay. So the most important thing to do is to uh, create a campaign called Update. Okay. Now let's say you've already created it and then a month goes by and you want to update the letters. Okay. So I have the update folder. Okay, just go to update. You don't need to recreate it. You don't need to delete it. Some of you might get confused or say, oh, I'm just not sure. It's okay to delete, but you don't need to. Go to the letters and retrieve a published campaign. I'm in the update campaign and retrieve. Then just go over to the traffic way for profit. Grab the letter. This is the code. Copy it. Go back to traffic wave. Check that box, put in the 380815, then the five digit code again is 45102. Okay, put that in there, and then I have a bunch. You won't have so many, but choose update. Make sure you get it into the update. You can retrieve it, and it's going to overwrite the old ones. That's okay, they're old. They're old. Click OK. Now they're up to date. Now, the reason why I do this is because, let me go back to my campaigns, is, and if, you, if you've done the step, you don't need to watch this. You just need to watch this once. This is my 2015 TRWB campaign, the campaign that I use for Traffic Way for Profit. I'm going to review the letters. Mine are up to date. And you'll see these numbers right here, 305-2685. When somebody subscribes, Traffic Wave says, or or the computer says, oh, I'll send them this letter. And then I'll send them this letter and this letter. So if you come in here and retrieve a published campaign and you just put them right into this, you know, you get those numbers and you put them right into the same campaign where you have subscribers, Traffic Wave gets really confused because you have subscribers like I do. Traffic Wave says, oh my gosh, the letter numbers have changed, okay? But now they, these are not changing when I do the update as I've shown, okay? All right, so that's great. So as long as these numbers don't change, someone will get letter one, then letter two, letter three, because letter three, the number did not change. You only edited the contents, and again, you can proofread it, and I edited this today, and yes, I had to do it just like you will, okay? So it has, please, to ensure you're delivered to your inbox, da-da-da, okay? That's great. So these numbers do not change when you edit the letter. If you re-import or retrieve, the numbers are all different, and then Traffic Wave gets really confused, and it doesn't know where someone was, and your subscriber, who gets the next letter. This time, the numbers never change, so the traffic wave does not get confused. You edited the letter, that's all. You didn't change the number. Now, if you want, um, some of these letters in the, in the held, you don't have to do the edit part. If, unless you have letters, well, it doesn't matter. What you can do is just go to the update. Okay, so we'll go to update. And let's say I want to move multiple letters. Let's review and edit them. Okay. I can check all of these. Okay. It's just going to update the new ones. It's just good. It's going to move them all. Okay. And what you can do is copy select it. So notice there's one, two, three, four, five, and you could copy them. And Traffic Wave is going to ask you, okay, click on go. Traffic Wave is going to ask them where do you want to go and you want to change it to your campaign. It's probably the income campaign. Mine is different. Um, I don't, well, I'll leave the copy just so I know for myself. 
these have all been updated. They're all going to be moved to the new to my active campaign with my active subscribers. And in this case, I'll, I'll for me, I'd like to know that which ones were copied, and I'll copy them. I don't have to move them over individually. It's going to do them. And these don't matter because they're not automatic letters. They can be new numbers. Okay, so these numbers don't matter because these are broadcast. I choose to send these letters out. That's why you can do it like this. Then just copy the letters. Boom. And I don't care if there's 25 in there. Now, I'm in the update, so I need to change. Whoops. I'll go to my uh, my active campaign, which is that. We're going to go to the letters. We're going to see a bunch of new ones at the in the held area. They're all going to say copy, the ones that are copy. So there's a copy, there's a copy, there's a copy, there's a copy, there's a copy. Now, I've already done these earlier, but watch. They will have, if I proofread it, it'll have to ensure delivery. That's fine. And if you check that, that's fine. So because this letter, this number right there, it's not an automatic letter. You are going to choose to broadcast these. That's why you can send these over all at once. Okay? And then if you want to, you can, when you send this out, take out the word copy when you, before you broadcast it. Okay? I just wanted to show you the difference. And you can leave all these in here. This is fine. It doesn't matter. You can have a bunch in here. That's fine. Okay? So that's how to update your campaign. And it's the reason why. You don't want to change the numbers so that your subscribers get the next letter on when it's supposed to be delivered. Look for my updates. Uh, the last one is uh, August 17th, which is today. So I'll try to let you know whenever I update and what I'm updating. Okay? So this is Chase Swift. Have a great day.